All right, guys, welcome back to another Master and Apprentice video. Today, we've got our first 2023 set Lego review. Um, set 75345, a very highly anticipated uh, battle pack, but just Lego set in general. I think in most people's eyes, we've got uh, the 501st Clone Trooper Battle Pack Volume 2, essentially. Um, it's instead of, you know, it should say specialist because uh, these are all different specialists. And I'll pray for the box art. Get the, obviously, orange stripe is supposed to be. The, I, I don't really understand the marking, but orange has always been like clone sets. Um, so we got that right to go. And uh, we get a little bit of a scene of the actual set and the different characters. Um, I'll kind of break down some of it in the back here. Um... It's a little bit of a, I don't even really want to say it, but I guess just bad marketing because they show the little stand, the little uh, antenna right there. I'm bringing it closer for you. Um, let my camera focus. It's in the wrong spot. As you can see, if you look really closely, the hole is above it. And it's showing it in the wrong hole. It's like a closed off hole in the helmet, as we'll see in a second. I'll show you guys. That's just, I think they're trying to make it look better, appeal more. Um, so that that's a little bit disappointing. But overall, the box art looks great. Small, small enough box, another small uh, I got a, uh, battle pack box. Going to the actual set now. All right, the actual set, the build itself, we get a little cannon. It's actually not a bad cannon at all. They, uh, I, lo I really love the legs. They do something kind of unique. Um, uh, I've just never seen a, a building type like that. It's just very unique. I, I, I love how it looks. Um, besides that, just normal cannon stuff that we see in previous. It looks clean. The cannon itself, like the play feature of it looks nice and then the actual um st not stud shooter but whatever you want to call it the laser shooter underneath of it kind of hidden so it's supposed to portray an actual kin coming out just push underneath you kind of have to hold it because there's nothing stopping it you hold the machine kablooey a, a very nice nothing too special but very nice set all together and then i'm go to the minifigures all right, the first minifigure, we have the captain, I believe it is. Um, officer, whatever you want to call it. Based, These are all based off the Battlefront 2 specialist we see in the game. So it's cool to get another nod to our Battlefront 2 game. And all the Battlefront 2 lovers are happy, I'm sure, right now. Uh, we have the antenna. I'll get to that in a second, as we see. And then, here, I'll just bring it a little bit closer for you guys in general. Um, instead of having the cape, it's just printed on it. What I think is a little bit lazy... The rest of it, I like the blue belt. Instead of it having the clone white belt, it has the blue belt. I think it looks very nice. Helmet, just a normal 501st helmet. Very good leg printing. But the cape, the waist cape, I wish was an actual waist cape. They haven't done that in a while, and I miss it. Um, because I just don't think it looks... You can barely even tell it's supposed to be a cape. There's no side printing. There's nothing on the back. It, it's just not... It doesn't look very good. So I wish they would have fixed that. And then I'll get to that, that hole right there. So you can see there's a side hole, right? You go on this side, there's the two holes, right? It's on the top one, right? It's not on the bottom one. As you can see, the bottom right there on the box, it doesn't show that. And that is, I don't know if that's on purpose or if they're just trying to make it look good. I think obviously they're trying to make it look good because you have to go through a lot of effort to make that on a box right you have to probably glue it on or whatever you have to do so i don't know what the exact word is but it's it's a little sneaky right there so i don't i don't, I don't appreciate that um but the minifigure stuff isn't too bad i think this is probably the weakest link out of all the minifigures <gasps> all right so we go to our actual clone specialist it's like a sniper specialist um it's based off the battlefront 2 and to do that they had to do something that i never thought they would and they finally did after a very long time lots of lots of customs they made actual micro binoculars um i think they missed out in the middle where they could have put like a little black stripe to make it look like it's a hollow which it is but they didn't do that um but for the rest of it, it looks very good the actual torso printing you can see it looks very strong has a nice little studs up there to show it's the straps 
Um, nothing crazy going on in the back, really. Uh, mostly, it's just the macro binoculars is a little bit different for the uh, the chest, but that's it. Um, overall, not bad. It's really not a whole lot going for this piece in general. It's just those micro binoculars that are the the key piece for it. Um, and that really brings us to our last two. All right, and this brings us to our last two, our heavy specialist. I'm going to say uh, to the guns, they're supposed to be shotguns because in uh, Battlefront 2, when you're the heavy specialist, your secondary or your whatever, your ability to pull out a shotgun is there. Because uh, these look nothing like the turrets you would carry in the actual game. Um, as you can see, it's just the pistol with the binoculars on them. So, yeah, I don't know what, that, what that's about. But actual pieces, helmets are a little bit different, as you can see. They've got like a little stripes through them, and they're a little bit more rounded out. Um, so the helmets are good. The visor, it's just normal blue visors, not a whole lot to the visors. To the back, they give you a little black uh, backpack to put a stud on. We get these nice little Republic backpacks, which you do see in the actual game. So that looks very nice. And then again, the torso, you have like the strap. It looks kind of like the um, airborne trooper piece, kind of a little bit with the strap across. Um, so that looks very good all together. Uh, these are probably my favorite as it goes for the actual uh, clone pieces. And that's really it for the minifigures. All right. And that brings us to our final review of the set. As a battle pack, I'm probably going to give it like a 7 out of 10 for a battle pack. For an actual set, I think this is like a 9. It's actually not bad for a set. 20 bucks isn't a, isn't a terrible price. The cannon, it's just a solid build. And then the minifigures, as a kid, I mean, most people were able to get those 501st battle packs for the last 2 or 3 years. You probably can get your hands on one still now, in all honesty. They made so many of those. Uh, but these actual minifigures, the specialist minifigures, will be a very nice addition to that. Just throw in some, you know, some variety into your collection. It's a nice build. It's not a greatest army build, but itself it is not too bad. And again, the cannon, it's just such a simple thing that it is probably what most battle packs need. It's just a simple cannon like this. And so they did very well with that. So overall, I'm going to give it a 9. I almost want to give it an 8 for that false advertising because I do think it was false advertising done on purpose with the antenna. It, it, it's just it's just too blatant to me that they did some, they did that on purpose to sneak it by you. Because if you look, it, it looks a little bit funky with it up top, but they needed it on that top spot so they can pull it down, right? Yes, exactly like that. Anyways, I, I that definitely knocks some points. But overall... Very good. I'm going to give that a 9 out of 10. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave a like, leave a comment, what you guys want to see going forward, how much you guys like this set. Um, and with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And we'll see you in the next one.